In this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect Google Sheets to Excel. So I'm in my Google Sheet here, I need to go up into File, and then I need to go to Share. I need to publish this to the web, and I'm gonna just publish this sheet here, which is my geodata sheet. Just a bit of sales data I picked up. Publish it as a CSV, Publish, and then this will give you a link. What you need to do is you need to copy this link, and then we're gonna use this link in Excel within Power Query. So into Excel now, I need to go to my data tab. Two ways to get to this, you go to get data, you can go down into other sources and from web, or you can just click the shortcut from web here. You put in your link, this is your link to your Google Sheets, press okay, and then what will come up is a place to load into Power Query. We can either load this directly to the, to the spreadsheet or we can transform data. I'm gonna load first. So just press load to, and this will give you options of what you wanna load it to. I just wanna load it to a table in the existing workbook, the cell I'm in. So this will pick that cell over there, press okay. And here is your data coming directly from your Google Sheet. Now I want the data in a more summarized format so I can go in, double click on the connection, and this will take me into Power Query. I'm gonna be going over Power Query in a lot more detail in a future video, but essentially I'm just doing a group by here on the sales. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm taking the item and then I'm gonna sum up the sales column in here. Just gonna call this new column sales a sum of the sales column. So I'm just grouping it by the item and it's much more summarized now. What I can do now is I can close and load back to where I was in Excel and it'll just come in with my grouped by data set. And the beauty of this is I can go back to Google Sheets, change my value in here then go back to Excel and click refresh. Now I sped up this video, this takes a couple of minutes to come through, but it should be good for most use cases. I hope you found this video useful. Subscribe to the channel for more Excel and Power Query content.